Assassin's Creed will have Mortal Kombat style X-ray attacks, mysterious game coming from Activision and Skull and Bones is getting a reboot? The internet is going crazy by looking at Henry Cable's video where he is building a PC for the very first time in his entire life. And this week we also have some amazing news that you gotta see. So let's just jump right into them. There have been so many Assassin's Creed games now and you can easily tell how Assassin's Creed Valhalla is totally different than how Assassin's Creed started out. But they never added some kind of gory material in the game but it looks like that might change. We did see some brutal action going on in the gameplay overview of Assassin's Creed Valhalla where we saw Ivor taking the head off of some enemy. And we also saw a blade going inside a person's body and there was an extra vision of how far the blade reached the person's body. Initially I thought it's going to be a part of cinematic, maybe it's going to be a cutscene that you're going to see later on, but apparently that's not the case. Access the Animus reported on Twitter that the director has said and confirmed that this will be a part of the gameplay. It's a feature similar to that of Mortal Kombat and it's also in Sniper Elite and it's also in Zombie Army Trilogy. Now in those games, the X-ray attack was a lot brutal and I'm pretty much sure that this will be toned down a lot in Assassin's Creed Valhalla but it's a good thing that they're adding these kind of similar small features that other games have in a game like Assassin's Creed. I think it might be triggered when you're jumping over an enemy or it might be triggered when you're in a stealth mode but jumping over an enemy to kill the person doesn't seem silent to me but who knows, anything can happen in this game. I'm loving this aspect of gameplay in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It looks so good and it looks so brutal and they are going in a different direction. Although a lot of people are not a fan of this kind of direction, they want the assassins back in the Assassin's Creed game. But I don't think so that's gonna happen anytime soon and we probably have to wait until they go back to that style, which I don't think so they will be, but I can only hope. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is available to pre-order for $40 in Epic Store and Uplay and sadly not Steam. Xbox had a bad opening in May and a lot of people did not like the way it was presented and there was also no surprise factor and that's why a lot of people like PlayStation's event even more. But now Xbox is coming back with another live event that's gonna happen this very Thursday on July 23rd and they're gonna announce a lot many games. Now Phil Spencer himself has said that this time the presentation will be better, there will be no green screen or anything of that nature and it will be more professional which was not the case in the previous stream that they did. Now it has been also been reported that the stream will happen for an hour long and it will only showcase games, nothing else, no device related talks, no business talks, it's only gonna be games. So we might get new gameplay videos, we might get new game announcements, maybe in depth showcase of a particular game and so much more. One of the games they might be showcasing is Halo Infinite because I believe they might showcase the gameplay because it's been a long time since they have not shown anything about the game but they have not shown how the gameplay is gonna look like. To be honest, I'm vaguely excited for Xbox new event because there has been no new games coming out from Xbox side and Phil Spencer even told that there will be no exclusive in Xbox Series X but I don't know what surprise we might get. It might very much be possible that there will be no surprises but I have a small little hope that we might get something new. The event will happen on July 23rd at 9.30pm on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook. We are halfway through the year and we don't have a Call of Duty announcement? Wait a second, how is this possible? What actually- Oh, the pandemic happened. We have rumors coming around that the next Call of Duty game is gonna be Black Ops reboot and named Cold War which will take place in Vietnam. But there has been no confirmation ever since. But recently, Microsoft Store listed a new game called The Red Door which is published by Activision. There has been no announcement, there has been no talks about this game but it is coming from Activision. So speculations are running wild that this might be the next Call of Duty game and it might be possible that it is. The description says there is more than one truth. If you go looking for answers, be ready to question everything and accept that nothing will ever be the same. The red door awaits. Do you dare to step through it? Wait a second, are they making horror games now? It doesn't seem like an accidental listing because the game is still in the Microsoft store apparently and they have not removed it. So which means Activision really wants this game to come out. Now apparently last month, PlayStation listing database Serial Station posted a listing about the very game with the content ID as well and the content ID name was The Red Door. Now there has been no connection with Call of Duty because the game is not called Call of Duty The Red Door but it is believed that there is some kind of connection because in Black Ops 3 trailer or teaser trailer there is a song named Painted Black by Rolling Stones and there is a line saying I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Now I know this doesn't mean that there is a connection between Call of Duty and this new mysterious game but it is indeed mysterious. 
but it's so weird that they have not announced anything about the game and it's still listed on the Microsoft Store. What do you guys think about this mysterious game? Do you think it's a new Call of Duty game? Let me know in the comments below. Well, let's go back to Microsoft again because Xbox is shutting down the production of Xbox One X and Xbox One S, all digital edition. This is official coming from Xbox because they have told that they are headed straight towards Xbox Series X and that's why they are stopping the production of the other two consoles. Apparently, a lot of people wanted to buy consoles and Xbox went out of stock with these two Xbox One consoles and that's why they are stopping the production. It's so odd to see that they are stopping the production of Xbox One X because the console only came out like in November 2017 and it's almost 3 years and now they are stopping the production. I mean I can understand that a lot of people are angry with this fact but I think that they are heading straight towards Xbox Series X and want to focus more on that because they also want to release another console similar to how Xbox One X has another console Xbox One S. It might be possible that that will be a disc less version of Xbox Series X. Well, Microsoft will be doing something that might bring smiles to your faces because Microsoft Cloud Gaming Service called xCloud where you can play Xbox game on your phones will come free for Xbox Ultimate Pass owners. Xbox Ultimate Game Pass includes Xbox Live Access, Xbox Game Pass and from September they will also include the xCloud service. Now they didn't talk about what are the phones that will be supporting xCloud and they only tested it out in iPhones earlier this year but Phil Spencer has been saying that they want to make sure that all the phones are supported for xCloud. Now will it be possible during launch? That's a question needed to be answered. Now later down the line xCloud will also be available to those people who don't own the ultimate pass of Xbox. Now I think this is a really good strategy to bring people to xCloud because you can play games in your phones and the ultimate pass only costs 1000 per month which is not bad and I think playing almost 100 games of xbox in a mobile that would be amazing but I hope that it launches in India first of all that and I hope it can be playable in every single phone especially in mid ranges phone. What do you guys think of xCloud are you guys excited to play a game of xbox in mobile let me know in the comments below. One of the games that Ubisoft didn't even mention in Ubisoft Forward is Skull and Bones. The game was announced back in E3 2017. Oh man, E3s. Good times. The game is heavily inspired by Assassin's Creed Black Flag and is also a little bit similar to that of Sea of Thieves and it will be a PvP multiplayer. The game is supposed to be released on 2018 but it got delayed again and then delayed one more time and now it's releasing on 2021 according to some reports. Ubisoft even promised in 2018 that there will be a beta testing launch but that never happened. So what happened to Skull and Bones? The official Twitter account is still saying that they're working on the game but they never talked about the game ever since. So what is exactly happening with this very game? Apparently Skull and Bones is having trouble to keep their position as an open world game with games like Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs and even The Division. And last year they made a decision that they will reboot the entire game. What? Yeah that's right, the game is being rebooted and will now feature a persistent game world with quests, characters and storyline that will evolve over time. One person with the knowledge of its development told that the live storytelling elements of Fortnite is a huge inspiration for them. They said that the rebooted game will have strong focus on collaboration as Ubisoft wants to appeal the audience who are into competitive nature with other games. The game's director has been replaced by a veteran named Elizabeth Pellen who has worked previously on Tom Clancy's first sequel, Pandora's Tomorrow. Ubisoft CEO told that this is a big project for them and they want to make sure that they build the game in such a way that people don't regret buying the game. It's so sad to see that the initial direction of the game is being scrapped and they're working on the game again to make sure that they have something new. Hopefully rebooting this game can take this game in a new direction and hopefully it's not the same as Sea of Thieves because quite frankly I would rather play Sea of Thieves than playing Skull and Bones because first of all Sea of Thieves is cheap and you can also play using Xbox Game Pass for only 325 per month. Are you guys looking forward to Skull and Bones? Let me know in the comments below because I hope that they can work on this game even better because I want to play this game because it looks so good. This coming Thursday we get to see a new live event of Xbox, we probably have more new games coming up of 1 hour stream so I'm excited to see what can come up and there are more news that the PlayStation pricing will be coming out pretty soon. Also it seems like Marvel's Avengers is gonna have an open beta for the game on PC and Xbox which is coming on August 21st and it will also be coming to PlayStation on August 14th. So if you guys want to check out how the game is and if you want to buy that game then you can play the game with an open beta in all the three platforms. On July 29th there will also be another war table presentation for the game and I hope they can bring something new. 
well thank you so much guys for watching this episode hope you guys enjoyed this and like this then hit the like button and comment down below what do you think about this episode and also do subscribe to our channel because we got so much more videos coming every single week and so many streams coming in the future my name is Gin Manis and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye